Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you the concept of a Microsoft 365 group. Uh, it's a concept that confuses many, many users uh, and even many, many years after it has been released, um, it, it still causes lots and lots of uh, you know, conflicts and confusion. So uh, I decided to record this video to explain it all. So what is a Microsoft 365 group? Uh, let me go back in history and um, explain to you how we manage permissions on SharePoint sites in the past. So many, many years ago, uh, we just had SharePoint, right? So we had SharePoint since uh, 2001, as a matter of fact. And uh, typically uh, on any given SharePoint site, um, the way we manage permissions, uh, we just literally, you know, you know, manage permissions through the three um, SharePoint security groups. We had owners, members, and visitors, all right? So visitors would be uh, users who uh, have obviously read-only access. Members uh, would have add, add delete uh, access to the content only. And then owners will have full control uh, to the site and will be able to obviously uh, manage content as well as potentially delete the entire site. And that's how we managed, you know, pretty much uh, permissions on SharePoint sites for many, many years. Uh, back in uh, 2016, 2017, I believe, uh, Microsoft uh, released a new concept, something called a Microsoft 365 group. What is a Microsoft 365 group? Uh, pretty much all it is, it's a security group, it's a membership group. And the idea behind uh, this membership group is that it tied uh, all the different applications uh, available within Microsoft 365 together. Uh, and the idea was that uh, you see, for example, let's say we need to collaborate on the project and uh, maybe IT creates a SharePoint site for us and then maybe, um, you know, they create uh, a calendar or a distribution list in um, Outlook and maybe they, um, you know, provision uh, some task management, um, you know, application for us. Um, you know, with all these applications, separate applications, you would need to manage security, security separately. With Microsoft 365 Group, the idea is that uh, when you create one, it pretty much is a single group that ties all the applications, you know, together. And let me show you this, um, uh, you know, uh, image that I use uh, quite frequently on my blog. Essentially, that's what um, uh, Microsoft 365 Group is all about. The idea is that uh, it becomes a single group that manages security for different applications. And what's interesting is that when you create one, it creates all the components that you see on the screen. So, um, for example, if I go to Microsoft Teams and create a new team in there, something you probably have done many, many times, Guess what happens behind the scenes? Uh, it creates uh, a SharePoint site. That's where you store documents for that team. It also creates a group calendar in Outlook. It also creates a distribution list in Outlook. And it also gives you the ability to connect plan from planner, um, you know, in here. And the idea here is that if I add different members to my team, they will end up in here in Microsoft 365 group. And as a result, they will have access to the site and a calendar and distribution list and planner. Uh, let me show you uh, first all this um, uh, kind of applications in real life. I'll, I'll show you what uh, Microsoft 365 group looks like. And then I will explain to you how easy it is to manage permissions using uh, this uh, group. So I'm going to go back. Let me um, navigate to one of my other sites. So this happens to be an HR uh, team site, a private restricted site for HR team. And as you can see in here, so uh, it's obviously a SharePoint site, but it, it tells you here it's a group. And what it means is that uh, essentially this site is not just a standalone SharePoint site, it's a site connected to a Microsoft 365 group. So whoever the members are in here, they have access, you know, obviously to the site, but also to all those other elements that I just showed you uh, on this diagram. 
Let me show you all the other elements um, that um, you saw on diagram. So obviously what you see here is a site. There is also a team attached. As you can see, there is a team attached. Uh, so let me uh, find the team for you right here. All right, just like that. And here is the HR team, that same HR team. I, you just saw in SharePoint, but this happens to be the same team. So Mary and I are members of the team. So Mary and I can also chat in that team as well, where essentially it's a team attached to that side. Uh, let me show you some other elements. Uh, let me open the uh, group calendar. Just like that, you see. So this is my Outlook and my personal calendar and my group calendar. All right. So when I created this uh, site, this team site, it created, remember, a group and everything else. So all these components are tied together. It's all or nothing. All right. You essentially, when you create one of the elements, it creates a group and everything else. And uh, finally, uh, let me show you. Well, actually, we can probably do it in here. Um, let me uh, find that same group uh, just like that. This is the inbox, all right, the distribution list. You see, this is where if users send emails to the distribution list, um, essentially they end up in here. This is, and as you can see, just like that, here they are, all right, remember? Greg and Mary, we were members on the team site, um, and obviously same, um, you know, users have access to this distribution list. And finally, uh, let me show you the last element, planner. So let me open a plan in a planner for that same, um, you know, essentially uh, team just to show you. And um, let me see while it loads, just like that, you see here, all right? And again, you know, this is the plan that's attached to this group. And um, Mary, um, you know, essentially Mary and I, we are members of that, yeah, you know, particular team and obviously have result, uh, have access to that particular, yeah, you know, plan. So back to our, uh, you know, diagram, um, it's all or nothing. Very, very important to understand that it's all or nothing. Uh, once you create, let's say, a team, you end up with everything else. Once you create a site, you do end up with everything else. Um, if you, if I were to go to Planner and create a plan, guess what will happen behind the scenes? It does create a Microsoft 365 group, you know, a membership group, and uh, and a site and everything else. Now, uh, let me show you how easy it is to manage a membership. So when you have a SharePoint site that's connected to a Microsoft 365 group, you no longer need to go and uh, click, you know, um, permissions and add members, visitors, owners. It's much, much simpler. What you want to do, because you see, you can do that, you can do that, but unfortunately, if you start messing with those permissions, uh, you will only um, maybe add people to the site you know, uh, and that will give them access to the site only. You probably want, uh, you know, to invite your colleagues, right? If they're part of this project, part of this department, you probably want uh, them to have access to everything, the team, planner, and so on. So in this case, what you need to do, don't go here, don't go to site permissions, click on members. And you can do it from here, all right? Obviously I'm in SharePoint, on SharePoint site, I can do it here, but I could also do the same thing from um, you know Microsoft Teams, for example, right? It's the same membership. But if we are on a SharePoint site, let's say I want to add someone else, all you need to do is just add and you type in the name and that's pretty much it. You can add a user as a member, uh, which will, for example, John, I'm inviting John as a member. John will um, get access to the SharePoint site, Microsoft Teams, you know, Outlook and Planner. Uh, or I can promote John to be the owner, so maybe John can help me manage, you know, permissions and uh, various settings uh, about the group. But you know what? Let's leave it as member, and just like that, you see. And very, very important uh, by inviting John, I um, did not invite John just to the site. I invited John to the entire group and all the other applications uh, as well. So that's the idea behind Microsoft 365 uh, Group. Uh, like I mentioned, we had it since 2016, 2017, I believe. Um, but it's a very, very important um, concept to understand from security perspective. 
uh, because the the group, you know, Microsoft 365 group uh, uh, essentially drives the security and permissions and membership um, to all the team sites and also, uh, you know, many other essential applications that are part of uh, Microsoft 365 uh, ecosystem. All right, so hopefully you are a little bit more clear now in terms of, um, you know, Microsoft 365 group and what this is all about. Uh, so uh, again, hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.